Good morning everybody and we're back here at the Four Seasons Fisheries in Staining just outside of Blackpool for our last car meetup American Cars Classics and beautiful one-offs hi guys welcome lovely to see you Russ you're yeah, gonna give us I'm this with, is your show your I'm big with, final day I'm with uh, John and Kath who've <laughs> brought their sure. lovely MGTA oh wow to, uh, and uh and what year is it 1939 John? 1939. So, I'm just going to so, come forward so a little this bit. Is, you know, this is when the Second World War, war started. Well, uh, I never. Yeah. Have you, how long have you had it? Uh, 15 years now. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, restored. It took about eight years to restore it. Really? And, uh, yes. It's like a, an ongoing project. There's always something needs what, doing. Was so. it in a particularly uh, bad condition it, it was pretty it was pretty rough yeah it was drivable but it, 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 it wanted everything doing um, the wings were the worst part really i still have to work on the wings okay um but um, i've rebuilt up the cabin to the gear box uh, steering all the brakes um, everything really so it's a, a two-seater uh, open top uh, sports car right uh, Originally, it, it was a police car. It, it was all, the first owners were Derbyshire police. Well, I never. Yes. A police so, car. So it's been black. So yeah. Some colour. But, so yes, it was Would the police force have had these cars yes, as a they standard? Did, yes, well, they I did. never. Uh, quite a few police forces have them. Yeah. yeah they, they, I don't know they caught anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's Don't a go very, very fair fast. point. The criminals must have moved slowly in those The criminals were just in Jaguars or whatever. Perhaps they were, yeah. Possibly. <laughs> well, there's, there's well, not much well, room to, to, to fit them in, but let's have a walk well, around the car. Well, what what well, what are the well, features on this, Russ? Well, I'll leave the hood open. Let's have a yeah. look at the hood. So. Right, let's come I around here. Quite a few things Please do, Russ. Of course, it's in excellent condition. And uh, you'll see that uh, there's some greasing points. So the uh, cars of this area require lubrication. So I'm sure you've got a grease gun somewhere. Yeah, certainly have. Yeah. And on a, how often would you uh, grease the vehicle then? And the, are those the only three points that you would do? Or? No, the, the, the kingpins as well and, and the steering, you do that from underneath. Right. But that, that does the, 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 the suspension, the, the springs and the handbrake cable. Um, you have to be careful doing the handbrake cable. You can fill the back brakes full of grease if you okay. be careful. Okay. But uh, um, I'd probably do it about once a month, grease it once a month. You know. um, How fast does she go? Well... 45 is fast enough really, they say they'll do 80 but I wouldn't recommend it, so 45 is about right, it's nice cruising speed. Yeah. Has it been converted to 12 volt electric? It's, it's always been 12 volt. Oh, they're always yeah. 12, right. Uh, it, it had two 6 volt batteries originally, right. uh, it's just got one, one 12 volt now, under the floor at the back they are. So you yeah. can see that the battery box, I think, uh, is that what that, it is? That's, that's the toolbox. Oh, the yeah. toolbox. Oh, that's look at that. There we go. Tools, so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like all these cars <laughs> in this era. Yeah. That's we incredible. The, we saw the Ferrari tool kit and now we've yeah, got yeah. a... You don't go far without your tools. <laughs> without the tools. <laughs> no. It's amazing. You never know where things are going to pop up. And what do, you, what do you like about driving her? I don't drive it. No, you don't. No. You're a passenger. I'm a very good passenger. Yeah. <laughs> and and is, is she a nice car to ride in? Not on long distances, no, no. 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 But uh, no, it, it it's nice for a change, yes. sort of thing. Well, yes, you're, you're on the File Coast as well, yes, so yes. it is a beautiful yes. place to, to run up and down the coast. Right, yeah. It really you is. Ever drive it in the rain? Yes, yes. yes we, we've been caught a few times. Okay, yes. so the roof up. Don't do yes. it. Now, no, we roof we, up and it's fairly, it, it's, it's fairly watertight. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. It is. Yeah. If you put the side screens on. Yeah. It, it's totally watertight. But I don't like driving the side screens. Uh, suicide doors. Hey, come on, let's see the suicide doors. Look at that, folks. Oh, look at the. Uh, oh. It's got the MG Car Company Limited on there. We the, go. On the foot. Uh, yeah. The door. Oh, it's a very stylish car. I love the interior, yeah, don't you, Russ? Yeah. What wood would this be? Uh, walnut. Walnut. walnut yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's got all those classic features. Russ, give us a rundown oh, well, I've in got there nice because classic gauges of 1939. Um, is the um, I'd like to have a sit in it... there, Russ, and just just point a few things out on camera. You know, 
Oh. It is our last day. Don't well, drive off in it on now. The side. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you can give us a little rundown on the gauges, as you say. So what's this stick do, John? That's this, it's a handbrake. It's a fly-off handbrake. Okay. That was for when, in competitions when you were doing handbrake turns. Oh, right, okay. You press the button, it flies off. Wow. Right. Yeah. And then, is it a synchro mesh gearbox? It's synchro on third and top. It's, so. it's doubly clutched for first and second. So the, it's not like a modern car, you have to double declutch, which, which I think is put the clutch down, is it? Up again and then change again. That's it, yes. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And then there's various buttons on there. Yeah, oh. The speedo's on the, on the left and the passenger yeah, side. So. The ref counter on the driver's so side. So Kath can see how fast we're yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a squeeze though in there, isn't it? It is. It is a little squeeze, Ross. Yeah, and then we've got uh, the foot rail for the uh, passenger. Oh and, yes, down there. Yeah. Yeah, it is lovely to see all the uh, dashboards. It's, it's a very pretty thing. It's so different to modern cars. And unfortunately, the steering wheel isn't adjustable, so oh. I'd have to push the seat back. Wow, it's, wow. Uh, lovely, lovely interiors. It's just beautiful colouring, isn't it? It is stunning. How many of these would you say are left in the world? Um, yes, they, they, they made 3,003 MGTAs, uh, and there's about 60 odd surviving right. now. Th this was the. Um, 16th of the last one made. It's, it's a very late one, 1939. Right, right. Uh, it wasn't. For, it was first taxed in June 39. And of course, with the outbreak of the war, they stopped making cars. For of, the course, of, the of course, of course. There's a 70,000 miles original man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a beautiful frontage on there, Russ. It really is a stunning car, isn't it? Yeah, We're beautiful. lucky to have seen it today. Yeah, well, thank, thank you for you coming. You're a member of lots of car clubs. You've been motoring a long time, I take it. Why do you love having uh, cars in your life like this? Uh, brought up with them, really. It's, they've always been there. I mean, my dad had MGs. Um, you know, we've always had them, really, in the yeah. family. Cass had quite a few. You've had the uh, TR6. Yeah. Frog Eye Sprite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just been, yeah. you know, they've always been there. Did you play with cars a lot as a child? Did you have little favourite memories? Yes, yeah. yes. I, I was brought up in the garage. So. Oh, were you? What <laughs> yeah. did your father do? Well, we, we were both gas fitters. We both worked for the gas board. But it's just been a hobby. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and, and motorbikes as well. We got yeah. motorbikes as well. Oh. So. What about you, Steph? Did you yeah. play with cars in the cat? Sorry, in the uh, when you were a kid? No, no. My dad had a big orange lorry because he was a builder. Was he? But that's the, the only car yeah. that... Yeah, while we were growing up. Yeah. Oh, where about say you both from? Actually, I'm originally. From Birmingham. Right. Lovely. I'm from Blackpool. Lovely. Another true Sangronan, born and bred in Blackpool. Well, Ross, any final words on this? I know it's just an amazing vehicle. Yes, and we of course we met you, didn't we, at Stanley Park, didn't we, Ross? Yes, I did. Yes. Really pleased to have you. Yeah. Yes. Oh yes, that's it. The piece de resistance. Let's hear a roar. I love the lamps on here. I mean, they just, would we call these lamps? Are they lamps? Yes. They're gorgeous, headlamps. The little spotlight that I like on the windscreen. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. Point out the features, Russ. Yeah, yeah. Yes, just on there. I love the windscreen wipers as well. They're really sweet. They're very small, aren't they? Starts first time on the key. Wonderful. It sounds like it's got quite a, a roty tone to it as well, so I guess when you're going down the country lanes you can hear the uh, the uh, noise of the engine quite well. And the, just at the end of the day, it's a sports car. It is a sports car, and you're looking very dapper in there, <laughs> cap and all. I love the doors. It's a wonderful, it's an absolute beauty. Thank you so much for coming. It's been absolutely lovely to have you visiting today. We'll see you again and enjoy carry on motoring. And we'll see you again. Thanks, Ross. Thank you. We'll see you at the next one. Take care, guys.